Tonight we start here in Santa Maria. We want to take you downtown to a really interesting place that maybe you haven't been to before. If you haven't been there in a while, there have been some changes. It's free to go to, and it's in a really unique historical building. We're talking about the Santa Maria Natural History Museum. The Santa Maria Natural History Museum is really a gem of a place. It's right here downtown across the street from the library and city hall. Some of you may know it, others perhaps not. It's been here about 20 years and it's free for anyone to come in and explore the natural history of the area and California. To hear Masood is the board president. You're going to show us around it? Yeah, sure. Here? Come on, let's go. All right, awesome. Let me show you. Let's do it. It's a small space with a lot to see inside and out. The building is a historical monument in Santa Maria. It was built in 1877. This is the oldest house in Santa Maria, and uh, we are lucky to have this uh, oldest place. Upon entry, visitors can explore an exhibit of sea life native to the Central Coast. Many of the museum's visitors are school children, and they just love the grizzly bear that was generously donated by a local family to display. And uh, we do get a lot of kids coming over here, and they just cannot believe it. Uh, you know, their uh, paws over there and how big this thing is. Huge. So loans and donations, that's a lot of how you guys are able to keep going, right? that, That's correct. I mean, this museum is 100% volunteer based. Yeah. So we're always looking for people to do the volunteer work here. E -fox. Each room has a place to test your knowledge. I tried my hand at geological time in Santa Maria. During the Jurassic era, the Santa Maria Valley was covered with water, covered with forests, or desert. I'm gonna guess water. Yes, that's true. When'd you put the desert landscaping in? With water now at a premium on the Central Coast, the people who run the Natural History Museum greatly cut back on water use by removing turf around the building and putting in beautiful drought-tolerant landscaping that also honors the native people of the area. What we have put in, the original idea was to create a mechanism or with the native plants, what the, you know, first Indian used to use. And uh, they do not require a lot of water. And in the middle, you see the pictograph. And again, that was uh, engaged through a cultural department of Shumash. Uh, the kids from six to seven, they designed hand painted. It's right there. And uh, the, on the side of the uh, museum, uh, you see the mirror. And the mirror was designed uh, based on 1799. I mean, if you're standing in front of the dune, this is what you will see. Uh -huh. So bring you back to the past. Saturday, everybody's invited to an Earth Day celebration at the Santa Maria Natural History Museum. It's from 11 to 2. There is no charge. There's going to be live entertainment, sustainable living exhibits, and it's a great chance to explore and have fun with the whole family. Looks like a lot of fun. I got to get out there. Yeah. Haven't been. 